I came across this yesterday and I could not believe my eyes. Check out this video folks, would you believe that this is AI generated video and that it is not OpenAI's Sora text to video generator? Yup, this is called Kling and this is a brand new text to video model that is by a Chinese company that is freaking good, very competitive against Sora, it is easily the second best if not the best AI video generation model we've seen yet. It seems to go essentially toe to toe with Sora and I didn't think we'd see something this good this soon. Here's the first generated clips, obviously a young child wearing glasses, he's biting down into a Big Mac, a nice burger, something like that and it is a very very realistic video, I mean you can barely tell and I mean barely tell that it was AI generated and people eating, that's something that's particularly difficult for these video generator models in general. So this is really really shocking to see not only that all of his fingers are correct it's very consistent with the background and his clothes there is no major warping his mouth is clean and then when he bites into the burger suddenly it gets really dirty i mean the video is extremely high quality like i said this is top notch stuff almost unbelievable and the demos just keep on coming and this one we have a nice corgi walking on the beach and you can see that the sand looks really realistic the waves are crashing and coming in the background he is kind of walking in a very slow manner which is typical for ai video generators including sora that's why i said again this thing doesn't necessarily look better than sora but it certainly isn't worse and that's kind of the main point here that someone else has at least caught up to OpenAI by now and in a matter of only months. The Corgi is also wearing sunglasses which is pretty unique that's not something that necessarily is going to be in the training data quite often so it's making novel connections between the sunglass, the Corgi, the beach and how the Corgi is supposed to be walking with his fur and the lighting and everything I mean it looks great. This is not a very easy prompt for one of these AI video generators to do so successfully. And then next one here takes it even one step further we've got a panda strumming on an acoustic guitar behind a lake or a pond or something like that and you'll notice here that he's kind of just strumming it he's not really moving his hands on the chords too much but it definitely looks like he's playing and again this is very novel you don't see videos of pandas in real life playing acoustic guitars so the AI has to understand here okay here's what an acoustic guitar looks like here's what it looks like when it reflects off the sun here's what it looks like when some you know normal person person plays it but also here's what it would look like if a panda bear was anthropomorphic like a human and was playing this guitar and not only that what would it look like if he was sitting on the edge of a pond I mean it has to figure all these things out at the same time and combine them together it's a difficult prompt this isn't just you know a panda bear walking around and eating like is probably in the training data this is a panda bear doing something pretty much impossible right and that's really what's shocking me about this generator it's not just generic footage this is novel stuff speaking of generic footage they definitely do have some pretty generic looking footage this is like a macaw or something but he is entirely blue i don't know if birds like this actually exist to the best of my knowledge they're usually like a yellow or a red not a bright blue but that might be what they're trying to show off i'm, I'm no bird specialist either way looks very realistic i mean i would Barely, I mean, barely be able to tell that that is AI generated. It looks like real footage. I can understand why some people are saying that this looks maybe even a little bit better than Sora, but to that I do have to say, keep in mind, all of these are very, very likely to be highly cherry picked. And without having both generators in our hands, it's hard to tell. Oh, and speaking of, I'm sure a lot of you people are wondering, well, can I get access to this thing? And the answer is maybe. We'll dive into that later in the video. For now, I'm just going to continue to show you examples, but there is a possibility you could access this AI video generator. This clip right here is by far one of the most impressive ones. We've got a glass of coffee and someone is pouring the coffee into the glass and it all just makes sense. This is something that Sora actually struggled with, if you remember in its original announcement. So take a peek, it just pours the cream right into the the coffee and it fills it up to the brim just as you'd expect the background is rock solid the cup is rock solid and man it just looks so realistic again at first glance you would barely be able to tell that it's an ai generated video but man we're just starting to live in the future here it's crazy how fast this tech is advancing I did not think that someone would be able to catch up to OpenAI and maybe even surpass it in a few areas we aren't exactly sure this soon. Like that's just insane, fills it right up to the top, oh my god, and the reflections on the, the cup here as it pours in. Wow, 
wow, it's just crazy. I mean, the cup is a little bit lopsided, maybe not perfectly symmetrical, but dude, it's crazy. It really is. This is a time-lapse style video of some flowers blooming. So this would be, you know, something that was taken over the period of many, many days. And it shows these flowers slowly opening over time. And again, this one would not be able to tell that this is AI generated. I mean, seriously, I'd have no idea. If you show me this, I'd be like, oh yeah, that's a, that's a nice little clip of some, you know, flowers opening in a time-lapse. And then, oh bam, yep, that's AI generated. And it isn't even by OpenAI or <laughs> any American company. It's Chinese, which is, you know... That's that has its own implications. It is incredibly impressive work what they've done here. You know, here we've got a nice solid scene of a bunny reading a newspaper. It looks very realistic. Again, he's wearing glasses in a human sense. That's not something that's going to be in the training data. The coffee is steaming in a nice, simple way. It looks like a scene almost from a movie. It's just, it's just freaking shocking, guys, honestly. Again, this is stuff that's probably in the training data. And the stuff that is in the training data, it seems to be doing quite perfectly. Wouldn't be able to really tell that this is AI generated. The fins look maybe a little bit strange, but the rocks in the background look fantastic. It's it's pretty insane. <laughs> like you're just staring at this and you're like, what the hell is going on? How is this even freaking possible? I'm sorry. I get so blown away, guys. You, you know me. I, I just when stuff like this comes up, I cannot contain my excitement and amazement. And here another extremely impressive example. You know, we've got this extremely realistic video of a guy just eating noodles. I mean, it, it, it's almost impossible possible to tell again that it's AI generated you can notice pretty closely if you look at the noodles that something is going on that's not exactly natural but the hand and the way it brings the noodles to the mouth and the way he eats it just looks so freaking legit I mean that's pretty it's just crazy I don't think Sora could do a noodle eating video this good I really don't I mean that again that's all speculation we don't know for sure but oh man this thing is so so competitive here we've got like this nice 3d render-esque looking video of a guy running on Mars again the versatility of the model has yet to be explored we don't know if it has the same fidelity capacity that Sora has. We don't know if it can do the same animation styles or the fluidity of certain specific animations. That all matters. Again, this could all be cherry picked, but even if it is cherry picked, still mighty freaking impressive. Here we've got a car racing around a track. Now, this one in particular, I don't think looks as good as the car Sora generations. This one's a little bit typical, but in comparison to the rest of the pack, forgetting about Sora, this is still leagues and leagues above in terms of motion and fidelity and coherency for an AI video generator. I mean, it's crazy how it's able to keep the designs on the car, even though they're not very detailed, it's able to keep them looking pretty correct as the car rotates around the corner. Here we've got someone riding a horse into the Wild West. This one doesn't look particularly great to me. It looks a little bit grainy, looks a little bit fuzzy. The dust kicking up looks great and the horse looks okay as it gallops, but it's a little bit mushy and blotchy. That's not something that um, I can't tell it's AI generated. I mean, I look at that horse and I see his legs mushing together. I'm like, okay, that's an AI video. The motion's impressive. The dust is impressive. But other than that, definitely AI. Again, we've got a video that combines some of the more unique stuff here. It's some sort of, you know, latte drink thing with some fire coming out the middle and it's like a volcano exploding on the sides with like this chocolate or coffee or something leaking down on the edges. I mean, this is not something that's going to be in the training data. So this is showing off that this model has learned the relation between fire and melting and coffee and what that would actually look like in real life and it's able to replicate it and reproduce it like magic. This would be so difficult to do with special effects. I, I think that people have to realize that this is a game-changing technology. I mean, an absolute game-changer for VFX, for video creation, for creatives alike, especially if people get access. And if it is open source, that would be amazing, but I have a big feeling that it is not. Here we've got another time lapse. This is something that would be impossible to capture in reality without doing some sort of special effects. We have the sky moving across the night, which looks very good. The stars are pretty consistent. And then we have people walking in the foreground here. Combining those two elements would definitely require some level of VFX. And it's pretty crazy that you can just type it out in a prompt and then ask it to generate it for you. So folks, here is the product page for Kling. This looks very advertising. This looks very product-esque. So that gives me hope for access for you guys. And to the best of my knowledge, there is some way that people can access it, but it's not very conventional. They have all the video demos sprawled out in here if you want to take a peek, but I'm pretty sure that we might have... Oh, we didn't see this one. We got to most of them at the very least in today's video. And keep 
in mind all of this text is translated from Chinese, so when we look like at a prompt, for example, two flowers slowly blooming against a black background showing the delicate petals and stems, yeah, this prompt is roughly translated from Chinese. It's not perfect, so I believe that this is natively Chinese prompted. Man, some of these other example videos are just pretty freaking crazy, though. Here's a, a little boy riding a bike. I mean, that's really tough to, to get the feet moving with the pedals and everything. And then it starts to follow the boy down the pathway. Like, that's crazy. That is not easy to do, especially with the consistent movement across a 3D space. And this is a long video. Check this out, guys. It keeps going. This is one that I haven't seen, by the way. I kind of just jumped into this because I wanted to react to it with you guys in real time. I thought that would be a little bit more exciting. Man. Oh, this is so darn cool, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, it does kind of get a little bit more warped and mushy over time, but it's pretty great at keeping the consistency of the character. Wow, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna link everything down below for you guys so you can dive real deep if you want to. You know, we've got this Lego guy walking through. They have a lot of, lot of demo videos and examples here. This one looks pretty realistic as well. Here we've got a video of a guy cutting up some onions, it looks like. That's impressive, man. Look at it create more sliced onions as he cuts. That's just crazy, man. This is going to be such a game changer for filmmakers or, or creatives who just want to make things without the hassle of actually going out and recording it themselves. They just want to take their creative minds and put it right into a, a video directly. So it supports different um, resolutions and aspect ratios. Again, this is kind of roughly translated from Chinese, so it's a little bit difficult. Supports 1080p, which is pretty cool. Self-developed 3D VAE can generate movie level videos. Yeah, okay, so this is showing off the different aspect ratios. Wow, this one actually looks really good. Man, that's so cool. Oh, wow. I'm just so blown away, man. This is awesome. Open AI, where's our Sora access? People are catching up. So I think they're showing off a few other technologies here. This is their video generation using actual poses or animated poses. I'm also going to go ahead and link you guys to this account. I believe this is one of the Chinese developers who helped develop the Kling AI video because he's been posting a ton and ton of examples. Here's like some Mad Max-esque driving so he'll probably be posting a lot here's more people eating some fruit here you know with the city in the background it looks great this is like a viking or someone slowly walking through a, a field that looks pretty good as well there's a ton of examples like a plethora of them now rowan chung he's an awesome guy so he's telling us that apparently with the Kawaii ios app in a chinese phone number you can get access to this thing and this is the post that i i remember seeing saying like hey there might be a way that you can actually get access to this video generator so i'm gonna go ahead and explore this right now for you guys folks i am pretty certain that this right here is the app again it's in chinese so i can't read it but it is by the Kwai Technology Group, as you'll see down there, Beijing Kwai Technology Co. Looks like a pretty big company, and this app has quite a lot of um, users. Now, here comes the tough part. If I download this app, and this is indeed the correct app that uh, I need to get access to this thing, how am I going to get a Chinese phone number? I don't know if this occurred to you guys, but I don't exactly live in China. So, upon opening the app, I have indeed realized that this is, in fact, Chinese TikTok. Well, I think TikTok is already Chinese. So, Chinese TikTok for uh, the Chinese people. Updating you guys on my adventure. I'm now in the AI section. However, as I scroll through here I don't really see any cling stuff at all. I don't know if I'm missing something or maybe a you know I didn't put a Chinese phone number in. I just put my phone number in. I don't know if that was a mistake. I don't seem to find it on this app. I don't even know if this is the correct app. Some of you who maybe can actually read Chinese will be able to figure out the correct way to actually access this AI video generator if you can without a Chinese phone number. That would be pretty cool. I mean, they do have websites that theoretically can give you temporary Chinese phone numbers. It's, it's a rabbit hole that, I'll be honest, folks, I'm not entirely comfortable diving too deep into. But like I said, if, if one of you smarter more educated, more daring people can figure this one out. Please let us know the method in the comments below because we would love to access this thing. I mean, a powerful AI video generator, that is so beyond exciting. Now, I have also heard that you have to scan this QR code with your phone to get access to this app that has the video generation. Yeah, but the problem for me is when I scan it, I'm just brought to this little page with like an information and uh, a text thing. So you might actually need maybe a real Chinese phone with access to the Chinese internet to get into this thing. I know the... <laughs> 
rest of the world and China have separate internet. So again, this is kind of a mystery that's a little bit beyond my expertise. At this stage in the video though, guys, I do want to start talking a little bit more about the greater perspective at large. First up, what is going to be OpenAI's reaction to something like this? Do they see it as a threat? I don't think they're going to see it as a threat just yet, but once people do start to get access to video generators of this quality that actually compete with Sora, well, the everyone's going to be kind of pushing OpenAI to say, hey, where's our Sora access? You said that we would get access to it this year. And the fact that Chinese developers are at this level, which is pretty much Sora quality. Google already has their video generator that is, again, pretty competitive with Sora and this video generator as well. How far back is open source? Because once open source catches up, well, OpenAI has no more cards. Essentially, they have to release Sora. So I'm waiting for something that is open source and nearly as good as this because that is really what's going to push open ai but i have a feeling that we are only you know maybe a few months away a month or two away from that which is exciting i'm ready for these new video generators i know that there is the great possibility of harm and danger with technology that is this powerful but anything that can do major good also has the potential to do major bad and we've seen this with technology throughout human history here's a sleepy little golden retriever on a nice couch i do love all of these video generations they did choose some great examples guys what do you think about this a lot of the community is like trying to pry at open ai like hey so Sora, when Sora releasing, even Sora is trending on Twitter today. I think OpenAI is going to be releasing their voice and vision update with ChatGPT. And that makes it more like a very realistic assistant much sooner than we'll see Sora. But hopefully competition like this, nice high quality video generators, especially from the likes of China, are going to, you know, kind of scare OpenAI a little bit into being like, okay, maybe we should kind of get Sora out the door a little bit sooner than they'd probably like to. OpenAI likes to take their time and really sit on things. But of course, we, the consumers, the AI enthusiasts, want that access immediately. I mean, what is your use case going to be for this? I mean, I, I absolutely want to create my own little short films. I really want to get creative with this thing. Maybe use it as B-roll in my YouTube videos as like an extra editing piece. I think that would be really cool. I'd love to push the limit, see if I can do animated lemon characters, stuff like that. What do you guys want to generate with this? If you had access to this or Sora or whatever, what would you make? Honestly, I think that there is huge potential for the democratization of creativity. I talk a lot about this idea. A lot of artists get upset about AI technology because it's like, oh, you know, I'm a filmmaker or I'm, I'm a photographer, videographer, and I, I make stuff like this and now AI is just generating it. And, you know, I can charge other people to use my footage. Yes, AI absolutely has the ability Ability to impact jobs in the economy. But on the other hand, it has the impact of democratizing creativity. Anyone can access the same tools that other people with more money or more luck were able to access right off the bat. It's a true advancement in technology that has the ability, I say, to uplift everyone at the same time. Like I said, there is absolutely the capability of temporary displacement of jobs, temporary economic problems. But again, guys, I'll hit home on this point. This is why I like open source. Open source doesn't have this super powerful technology only owned by one or two companies. Open source has it accessible to everyone with free and paid versions all across the whole scale, meaning that some company can't just get rich off of AI technology. We can all get rich together, so to speak. And as for long-term economic models, I mean, that's a that's a video for another day. That's a, that's a bigger issue and not something that I'm focused on, at least in this video. But I mean, other than that, guys, I'm just impressed let me know your thoughts let me know your feelings i love to chat with you guys in the comments and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next one have a great weekend